Hello and welcome to Versus Live. I'm Ross Merriam. And I'm Corey Baumeister. And we've got Rob in the booth say, friendship with Ether Vial is over, Rob. Friendship with Ether Vial is over, Rob. <laughs> Rob will be taking all of your questions, comments, concerns, and burns in the chat. Also, wild uh, ether vials. You can send those in the chat too. Yeah, yeah. But if you want to return burn. them, yeah. yeah. Or if you if you want to send them to me to sign them, you know, mail them back. I'll, you know, well, well they they hold a special heart in my uh, or a special a spot. Place. I can't talk. <laughs> <laughs> They hold, they hold a special, a special heart place. My place. <laughs> yes, not because I play those decks, but because you get wrecked by them so often. We've had multiple clips now of you just drawing like the third Aether Vial. I remember one time you left the studio. Yeah, it's that happened. good times. Vial is, and I don't think you win a lot with Vial decks, nor do I win a lot with Vial. I think Aether Vial is just not a, it's the new blue-white control of versus well, it, it won on, on Tuesday. A little, a little death and taxes. Oh, yeah, that's true. That's true. Gotcha on Tuesday. That was a nice one. That was a nice one. Maybe that's just the best wild deck. Maybe. Maybe. Certainly didn't look good last round. No. It's supposed to be good against control. No. But the point is, friendship with Ether Vial is over. Over. I'm going to become <laughs> a mid range guy. Oh, welcome. I'm playing Mardu Pyromancer in our last match here. <laughs> this is a deck that has largely just fallen off the radar since the ban of Faithless Looting. Yep. Though now it has gotten a new tool from Zendikar Rising. It's playing Magmatic Channeler. It's okay. a, a discard outlet for your Lingering Souls and cards that you want to put in the graveyard. Sure. It generates value, eventually becomes a 4-4. Four, four. You know, it seems like a solid card in the deck. Okay. Um, I'm a little skeptical of the card in Modern just because it is a two-mana creature that you need to untap with. Yeah. And it dies to both Bolt and Push. Yeah. Um, and so in that sense, it's a lot like Dark Confidant to mm. me. Uh, which has fallen off since uh, the you know removal got better in the format, but yep. it does work really well in the deck. For the most part, spot removal is not very good against the deck, so you don't want to have a lot in it. That's the thing that kind of gives me hope here. Yeah, you know, normally you're playing things like Lingering Souls and Croxa and um, Seasoned Pyromancer, mm. and so you know threats where spot removal is not very good. Okay. So if you can put your opponent in that squeeze, where they're like, okay, I want to bring out some of these spot removal spells, but I need to leave some in to deal with the Magmatic Channeler. Now you've got them in that spot where their deck is going to be a little awkward, and they need to draw the right part of it. Okay. And that's always a great place to be. So. Yeah, it seems really interesting. And then from my end, I I've wanted to build this since I saw Omnath, um, but just have been focusing on standard for uh, you know a ton of time with the season two. He, he mentioned it basically every show during previous. Pretty much. I was so excited, and finally yesterday I took the time to uh, you know take a good hour out and just try to build the deck. I got help with you from the mana base, and I think it's awesome. And I was having so much fun just building it, and so excited by the way it looked, because it looks so powerful to me, um, that I, I had to take it for a league, you know? And I played a league, plus two matches, and I went six and one, and I didn't even get close to timing out with cat calming people. To be fair, in the leagues, people are a lot more forgiving on just conceding when they're dead, and in challenge events and stuff, not so friendly when it comes to that, but the deck deck is speed is sped up a lot and there was always one thing that I really loved with Yorian um, when it came to pre-nerfing it was just very good in you know Urza decks or it was actually really good in modern because it blinked uh, Oath, blinked Abundant Growth and stuff like that but now with the nerfing the only way to make it decent where you could play it on turn five was with fires and fires is really bad in modern so omnath actually serves as the fires-esque card because if you go omnath on four kind of like if you went fires on four turn five fetch land crack it that generates five plus your four you have nine mana you can put it into your hand play it and even get a value one drop in um and then there's just a ton of little other small interactions i noticed with omnath because that's the big difference here like i got to start well, re real real quick we yeah. also have to remind everyone that Corey <laughs> yeah. chose the wrong omnath originally <laughs> yeah Wh so which which one did he try to put in the deck locus of creation no uh, locus of the royal the creation is the original oh yeah yeah thing. that's the one i'm playing now yeah so i i think it was even yesterday andrea mangucci tweeted out someone is gonna make a mistake on this and just saw the five different omnath names and they're all locus of something so they're all really close and then the next day i noticed it at like 12.30 at night that I had submitted the wrong Yorian because I went to play the deck or the wrong Omnath and then I went to play the deck and I just had like a <laughs> terrible one in there. Uh, so yeah, that was my bad. It should be the four color Omnath. <laughs> Did you at least take my advice on the mana base and put four Urborgs in? 
I did. Yes, okay, yes. We right. have Ereborgs. Yeah, absolutely. I, I'm but, gonna need some black mana. Yeah. One last one last point I want to make that was like a cool piece of interaction that I didn't I didn't even see until I was doing it. I had Omnath in play on turn four. Turn five, all I had was a Triumph. You know, I don't play a lot of Triumphs, but just a Triumph. I'm like, oh, this isn't going to be a great turn. I go Triumph, and then I just realize Felidar Guardian can blink lands. So I went Triumph, tapped, and then Felidar, blink a land, add five mana, place the Healy, kill you. I was like, okay, this is this is real. It's not okay. This is nice. So well, I have yeah. plenty of disruption here for the combo. Yep. So I don't think that that's going to be too concerning. We're just going to be a sort of mid-range grind fest here. Yeah. Uh, and it'll, it'll just be the question of whether or not Corey can make me have to play really awkwardly because of the yep. threat of the combo. Yep, exactly. Threat of the combo. And that's always been what these combo proactive decks have done very, very well. Even as far as back as Sahili Cat uh, when it was in standard, is you play a good game. Gameplay where you got to deal with the other threats eventually. Rogue Refiners, Whirler Virtuosos, in this case, Uro, Omnath. And then all of a sudden you're just like, oops, combo. Oops, combo. Oops, combo. Do I keep a one land bobble mm. hand? And you're on the play now, huh? It's a pretty good one land bobble hand. Okay. I'm going to keep mine. Mine looks pretty sweet. Yeah, I'm going to keep and okay. hate my life when I miss. Excellent. Uh, I'm I'll love it. I'll bobble you. Okay. That's so, Corey, are you single-handedly going to end the unbanned twin memes? I'm trying, yeah, yeah. And all thoughts I'm going to end the unbanned twin things and just start hashtag keep the cat. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to end at 16 from a shock thought seize. Okay. I know Corey has Seely on top of his deck. <laughs> Excellent. I, I got will... a pretty good hand. Yeah, that is a pretty good hand. I don't like it at all. <laughs> and now to rip apart the combo, the powerful stuff, or the gross spirals, what I imagine. Yeah, we'll take the Omnath. Okay, Omnathy. Pass, Dead. draw on your upkeep. Okay, <clears throat> shocked. Go. I will sack this. He knows all my information. You can go. Yay! This, is, this cat deck is going to look even better. Excellent. Thanks, Ross. You know, you didn't have to, you know, just throw the game. I'm happy just, if I lose with the cat deck, I'm still going to be fine, but you're a good friend for letting me win with my kitties. You're 19. Excellent. 19. Untap. Quick, draw. Ross, draw the Aether Vial hidden that deck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oops, Aether Vial. Um, all right, I will play that, and I'll pass to you. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, you did it. I will go to 14 okay. and cast Magmatic Channeler. Magmatic Channeler, huh? So let me give this one a read again. Uh, discard a card, exile top two. And I get to choose one of those two to be able to play that turn. Okay, in response, I'm going to sack this. Vista brings you to 18. I assume we will be getting a forest, yep, and growth spiraling. You would think, wouldn't you? And you'd be right. <laughs> All right, I'll mana like it. Wow. <laughs> You'd be wrong, Ross. You'd be wrong. Get that Dude. out of there. Yeah, I actually. And it's white border just for like extra disrespect. I know, extra disrespect indeed. Yeah. Edition mana leak. Mana leak. I, I wanted to just play remands and stuff, but I figured with these like oops all land decks that mana leak is actually pretty good right now. And I always hated remand in this deck. So I just like being able to uh, actually deal with stuff. So I'm gonna play and crack this. Go to 17. Um, let's yeah. get a duel of some kind. I think blue green is fine. Also, SBS wants to know, um, Corey, did you literally open up with Gross Spout Earl Omnath and the combo in your 80 card deck without stacking? Yes, yes, I did. Thank you, SBS. Thank you for noticing. <laughs> Why do you think I play cat combos? The cats love me. Okay, so I'll play Earl. So down to 15 from Fat Shock, back up to 18. Yep. From the Earl. Draw, play a land, and pass to you. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> Croxa. Croxa, eh? I assume we will see the growth spiral hit the graveyard. I will put the growth spiral in the graveyard. That's fair. I will crack this. All right, let's get the other triome. I play the two blue green tri or the two blue uh, triomes. Jeskai and Teamer. Rogrin and Ketria. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 
So, combo is once you hit six mana, you can just do it without putting pieces out, and I don't want to make them vulnerable right now, so probably what I'm going to do, but now I got some nice options here. Um, Uro just being the kind of obvious one staring me in the face, but the card I drew I think actually makes it better to just guarantee land drop, so we're going to go with Ren and Six. Yep. And let's tick up on Flooded Strand. We'll play that, and I could just play Sahili here, force you to have something. It's better than this card, so I think I actually am. Could also buy the Orion. Yeah, I could. So Fetch brings you to 16. Yep, and I don't want to use my Mystic Sanctuary yet. I think I can safely, I got Omnath colors, doesn't really matter. I mean, if you Sanctuary the Mana Leak back on top, then next turn you get to Guardian with Leak up. That's true, that's true. Not needed, not needed. All right, I'm sure you have plenty of removal for this, but we're not all in on it. We got a lot of other stuff happening, so deal one to you. I go to 13. Spry. I'll keep that card and pass to you. Pass the turn. Okay, I will untap. I will draw a card. Um, I will tick up on this, play this, and I will bring back a row. Yep. Okay. You go to 19. 19, draw a card. No land, I'll take up, deal you a damage. I'm at 12. And I'll put that to the bottom and pass to you. A little late. <laughs> uh, crack fetch to Kay. 11. Sure. I'm actually going to do this on your upkeep. Okay. So, past your upkeep. All right, um, I got stuff in end step. Okay. End step. So you're going to go to 18? Yep. I'll just get this. Oops, I got to get a breeding pool. Just Are we casting kidding. a growth spiral? Uh, Ice Fang. An Ice Fang Quaddle. Okay, I'm going to uh, respond to that. Okay. By fetching for a tap Sacred Foundry and... Yes. Yeah. Yes, it carries a 16. I'm fetching to 11, and I'm going to push the Uro. Push the Uro. So one, okay. do things on upkeep in case Corey had a mana leak. Okay. Now that he's tapped out, I should do it now. Okay. So we got 11 to uh, 16, yeah. and then I'll pass the turn. All right, you're dead. You're dead. I will take this up. I will play this. Actually, we'll play this. Doesn't matter. Play fairy. Yeah, I got it to fairy. Yeah, I just had a bolt. Yep. Yeah, because the, the combo is actually pretty easy to disrupt, but the, I this is a card I wasn't super high on before. Like, I played two or three, you know, but um, I just have four now. I, I, I think it's great. Oh, yeah. Uh, just disrupting. And one one thing you're, I... You're not the first person to figure out that Teferi is great. Yeah. <laughs> and one other thing I was just like that... I still look at lists to these days in these style of decks that play green. Just play four. Why play anything like Dispel? This is Dispel, but it draws you cards. So. You want to do another pre since that was a quick one? Sure. Okay. Got any questions over there, uh, Rob? I do. Ooh. Uh, S. Diddy wanted to know, uh, does this deck have to be a Yorian deck to be good, do you think? Or do you think there's a 60-card version? I think it can be a 60-card version. Yeah. No, I, I think that's reasonable. But I just think the, the long-term value of Yorian is actually pretty strong in this deck. And it was just really hard for me to find room. And I wanted a ton of fetchable targets where that's where you struggle the most, I feel, is like being able to play every duel possible that you want and all the good cards you want. So I think it can be 
and then you just play the combo. You play Omnath and stuff like that. Maybe go to threes and stuff. But I actually do think it's better as a Yorian yeah. deck. It's not just because I like the card. I think you it's know? especially better now because of Omnath. I think Yorian and Omnath play so well together. 100%. Yeah. You know, the, the issue with the companions now is they're just not very mana efficient. Yep. You have all this extra mana lying around because of Omnath, and yep. it just draws a card, cantrips, and it, um, yeah. we don't have to talk about we see why Yorian. We see why Yorian is still good pre post nerf in Pioneer, in like Jeskai Luka or any other stuff like that because you essentially get to ignore the companion nerf because of fires because you can still cast it on turn five and it's kind of the same here with omnath letting you somewhat ignore this ability and some games this is just gonna loop with um felidar guardian and do the whole charming prince yorian loop while you just have like one oath coming along for the ride and, yeah, and you and, do the same thing yeah. with fairy you have yeah. all the synergies with yorian so exactly it just makes this process. deck is a just a web of synergy and within every single card and that's why i just absolutely love it oh my god i have two lands <laughs> sneep I'll keep as well. I'll okay. keep as well. I'm going to start this one just like the last one with Blood Cup Thoughts. <laughs> well, SPS is going to be impressed with me. I do have Cat Combo. <laughs> um, God, this deck is just so much fun. My mana base is actually pretty bad. I just run, you know, I don't, min I don't run that many basics, but. I'll take the Felidar Guardian. Okay, so you go to 16? Yeah, pass the turn. Okay. Uh, I will play a land, pass to you. Normally, uh, I wouldn't want to give you max info, but I would like to get one of my triomes. I'm just going to sack that way you do your thing. I think I want the Jeskai triome here. Trying to think of what land I want. SBS is called a judge on you. <laughs> I'm going to get Sacred Foundry Kay. and then play Stoneforge Mystic. Okay. So I'm at 13. Stoneforge will find a batter skull and just hope you don't draw a removal spell. Yep. And I'll pass the turn. Yeah, that seems good. It's a scary one. Thoughts he's into Stoneforge. Very powerful. Okay, that's not bad. I'll play a land and pass to you. Doesn't want to spiral. Also, uh, Corey, Mean Lizard wants to know if you tried out Omnath in the Niv Mizzet decks. Ooh, um, I haven't played the Niv Mizzet decks, but I'm sure it's great. Yeah, I'm sure it's great, but I haven't tried it yet. That is one I should try. What's in my air pass? Okay, I will grow spiral. Sure. Draw. Um, let's get in this, and then untap. Yep. Hmm. Let's go with land. I think this is still my best play. Batter Skull is just gonna slap me up a little bit. Not much I can do about it. Omnath? Yep. Draw and pass to you. Okay. On your end step, we'll put in Batter Skull. Okay. Get a Jeremy Germ. Jeremy Germ. Also going to crack Bloodstained Mire for a swamp and fail push the Omnath. Okay. Pretty good. I didn't have a great play otherwise, uh, and I didn't have a fetch land, so I didn't think it was worth waiting, but had to figure something like that would happen. But even those exchanges, it's just natural two-for-ones, you know? Yeah. That's why the card is just so, so good. So you got five total cards in hand, three yep. unknowns. Exactly. And I'm at 12, you're at 19. Correct. Dealt myself quite a bit of damage, but that's Well, you're going to gain it back. <laughs> five hour skull is here. Yep. All right. Attack for five. All righty. Brings you to 14 and me to 16. Correct. I will then get this Pyromancer down while you're tapped out. Okay. Pitch Fatal Push Snow Covered Mountain. So okay. One me token. One you. And play Marsh Flats okay. and pass the turn. All right. Let's see what we can do. Not a terrible draw, not the best. Feeling a lot better about this game. Yeah, this one's looking not Who great. knew that making the land drops was good? Yeah, right. 
Um, oh boy, well, let's start with a, don't think there's anything that you can do about this. So I don't have to leave open Mana Lake and I can see what I draw first, Teferi. Resolves. Okay, we'll bounce your germ. Draw. That's pretty good. Not bad. So now the problem of leaving up Mana Lake, while it is strong, uh, you just can try to play around it by like returning Batter Skull and stuff. But. Um, my alternatives aren't great. Um, hmm. Guess I can just start with that next turn. Yeah, I will go land and pass. I will thought easy. you. It's not easy. Um, all right. I will select Oath of Nyssa. Yeah, got punished there, that's for sure. So that's 14 all, yep. and I know there's no removal spell there, so send one at Teferi and three at you. Okay, Brings I will go to 11. 11. And then I'll pass the turn. Okay, on tap. Oh, draw, oops. I'll shuffle, I saw that, it's only fair. I guess, uh, I don't know if you have removal for the batter skull, but I'm gonna return it before you draw a card. Okay, sure, sure. Yeah, I saw that card and I actually would have liked to draw it, but that's not cool. Yeah, fetch brings me to 13. So we got 13 to 11. Found a skull in my hand. Okay, um. So I'm gonna play and sack this Misty. Go to 10. Ten. And what do I wanna get for a basic? Probably. Just get a green source here, just in case I get an arrow. I believe I have two snow greens. All right. Now, let's play a Sahili. Sure. I will tick up, deal you a damage. I go to 12. 12 to 10, right? Yep. Okay, scry, I do not want a land. And now the question is, do I want to try to get Yorian? It's not a very good Yorian, but the body is just strong, and that's kind of hard to deal with as well. So yeah, I'll put Yorian into my hand. Fast to you. Hmm. Okay. It's a pretty good draw. Good draw? I don't like that. Um, I'm at 12. Okay, attack you for three. Okay, I'll go to seven. Pass the turn. Interesting, interesting. Ooh, that was a good draw. I'm gonna deal one, scry. I go to 11. Don't want this card. Because I would like a land. Uh, I got an arrow out. Yeah, that's pretty good. Go to 10, draw. Dang it. Um. <clears throat> Brutal. Um, okay, then I will pass to you. Huh. Oh, yeah, you didn't have the land to escape it. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you're at 10, so this is not lethal. Well, end step, I'll activate. Yep. Put in Battle Skull, get a germ. Okay. Go to my turn. Sure. Bobble. You scry to the bottom? Bottom, yep. 
Um, <clears throat> I'm Are we thinking. Thinking, about, thinking about mail, leaking the bauble? Thinking about it. Doesn't pay a ton, so yeah, that's fine. Okay, I'm going to bauble you. Okay. How good? It's not bad. Okay, I like that. Um, I was planning to just try to pressure Corey, but now this is this is a puts you to two, Uro puts you to five. You can even copy Uro and go back up to eight. That is spicy. Spicy, spicy. Yeah, I'm gonna send uh, Elemental and Germ. So the two tokens at Sahili and the two real creatures at you. Okay. Puts you to seven. I yep. gain four to 15. Okay. And I will pass the turn. All right, on two. A draw, that ain't bad. Um, yeah, it just seems like an Uro turn. So let's go and do that. I'll escape her out. Brings you to 10. Yep. I don't really, I just have spells to bring back, so it doesn't matter too much with what you escape. So yeah, back to 10. Draw. Play a land and pass to you. Three unknowns, well, two unknowns, because I know about the bowl. From the bauble, so I'm drawing two cards here. <clears throat> or didn't you bobble me during your main phase? Oh, yeah, so I should have drawn on you. Oh, okay. That's a tilt. That's the worst card in the deck. <laughs> excellent, excellent. here for you. Dread boar the Uro. Dread boar, eh? It's not that cool. It's not that cool of you. Um, okay. Very happy that worked. Yep. Uh, send with the squad. Four, five, Eight. six. Okay, so I can bolt to keep myself out of bolt range. I think I'll do that. We'll get rid of Pyromancer. Okay, so you take six, go to four. I go to 19. Yep. And then I will play this and play Magmatic Channeler. Okay. Actually, I, I should keep this in my hand to discard the channel. Okay. Fast turn. <clears throat> All right, on tap. Not a bad draw, not the best, but. Okay, so we're one away from burrowing, so let's see how this goes. Um, Omnath? Um, you're at four? Four, yep. So channel here is big. It is a four, four, right? Yep. Choose one of them, you may play that card this turn. Of the card you exiled, right? Yes. So you kind of got to get lucky for that ability, but can be a pretty powerful effect. You have two unknowns in your hand. Yep. And you have, yeah, you have five total in the graveyard. Yep. So fetch land uh, is insane, yeah. Yeah, fetch land would be insane. I know you don't have the land yet, or at least I, I suspect you don't. Yep. Could it? I get this with the trigger on the stack and just try to end the game, but if you hit the land, I guess it, you would have to hit a, a basic, because if you tap out for Uro and go to three and go up to six, I get six damage. Don't through. forget it gains four life. Yeah, I'm, well, I'm gonna kill this with the trigger. Oh, on the stack. sure, sure, sure. Yeah, trigger on the stack, I'm gonna get another blood crypt and push. Oh man, I like it. That's fine. Okay, um, then draw a card. Yeah, so you just have to hit a land. I have a land. Not a bad one, too. Field, trigger, gain four. Jesus. <laughs> I have exactly one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, wait. Did I miscount? Four, five, six. Oh, am I one oh, short? Yeah. 
Oh, I do have two of these. Yeah, all right. Just kidding. Probably shouldn't be playing all Snowlands, right? Yeah. Um, I, I, I did cut the quaddles already. Yeah. But yeah, I, I agree. Maybe it's not great. So yeah, eight. So Maybe I'm eight. dead, huh? I mean, you're not dead. Okay. And then you're, I'll pass to you. You're dead if I rip a remo removal spell. Yep. But I guess I screwed up by playing into the mana leak. Maybe. Then I could have played uh, Sahili. I guess. That wouldn't have been that great, but yeah. Okay, yeah. past you. You would just be dead. All right, drum okay. roll. Okay, screwed up this game. Cool. Um. Uh. It's been a good game, though. And now, because of the Uro, it's not, I can't just force a block here. Mm. Well, yeah, I just shouldn't have pushed. I just didn't think you would have the land. Yeah, that was pushing it. Okay, let's pitch a block with clips. Okay, mill two, one, two. Are they exiled or? They're exiled and I choose one that I can then cast. Okay. And. And then they go to the graveyard or? Uh, no, they stay okay. exiled. Exiled, okay. Oh my God. I'm going to get punished for holding the black with cliffs. I drew another one. <laughs> oh, yeah. To be able to play and equip a sword of some kind? Yeah. Wow. I th I th there, which sword is in my deck, Rob? I know there's a sword of some. Yeah. Which would kill you. Just put it on the germ. Love it. Love it. Punished. <laughs> I mean, it's 100% right to hold the black with cliffs. Yeah. Yeah. So that one's not that one's um, wrong. I mean, the sword is still good. Yeah. No, the sword's still scary. So I think that's what I'm going to get. Okay. Yeah, you wrecked me with sword the last time. Um, okay. uh, I don't think I'm going to get another turn. Well, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> I do not have a cat. You thought seized it right away. I will pass. Okay. Yeah, I can't do much about that card. I mean, I guess. Oh, yeah, zombies. Zombies is what I need. <laughs> so I need a land. That was absolutely bananas. <laughs> okay, gain four. Yeah, get a zombie. Get a zombie. 12. Yeah, I'm just very dead. Zombaroo. Screw this game up. Okay, I'll sack. I'll go to 11 and get a... Why did I play into the man? <laughs> what kind of duel do I want to get here? Could just get a planes. Yeah, okay, sure. Let's get that. Add four mana. All right. With the four, green, blue, green, blue. So red, white, floating. Row. Uh, exile these. I'll go up to 14. Uh, 15, right? Oh, no. You I took a pain. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Um, <clears throat> what are you up? Uh, 16. Okay. Zombie, take four. 12. Um, so still have red, white. Let's make it blue. Sahili. Oh, yeah, the Sahili I didn't know about for the rubbins. <laughs> yeah, touche. Touche. Um, okay, then let's copy arrow. Keep this arrow. Go to 17. Yep. Draw. I have no mana in pool. Correct. Um, zombie. You already took four, right? Yep. Okay. Then I will, one, two, three, four, five. Yorian, blink this, blink Omnath. Comes back, trigger, draw a card. Now these are reset, so I could go get more mana as well if I had something to do with it. Yeah, I do it not. Is the end step, though. Yep, so I'll pass to you. Okay, on your end step, I'll put in a sword. Yep, not a bad turn, huh? It was okay. <laughs> Fetch land with Omnath. Welcome to the jungle. Yeah. <laughs> Another black <laughs> is that the Is that the Aether Vial of your deck? <laughs> uh... This deck is nice is real nice all right everyone we are going to take a short break and we are going to see what we got in the sideboard to deal with each other here so don't go anywhere we'll be right back with sideboarding here on versus live welcome back to versus live where we are sideboarding in our matchup between mardu pyromancer and four color omnath copycat pile 
<laughs> no. I just said copycat. I, it, there's too many names. You got to pick one direction, your coolest direction. So I, I'm right. picking copycat. I'm going to be bringing in my mm -hmm. Liliana's uh, card that can help, you know, just limit the resources of the game mm -hmm. uh, a little bit, give me a little bit of removal against some of the bigger creatures, especially Yorian, yep. that this deck can have trouble with. Cutting the one Lightning Bolt that just doesn't match up well against Corey's Threats, and the mm -hmm. one Unearth, which doesn't match up well against Path Exile. Fair enough. And for me, I'm actually been considering just main decking a couple of these cards because they come in in so many matchups. Counter spells, Thoughtseize decks, like that's pretty much all of them. So I bring in four veils a large chunk of the time. Only bring in one purge because it's a little awkward against like Stoneforge. Taking out the two forces, they're not great. And then taking out some Quaddles, blocking Lingering Souls, or just... I, it, it, Icewing Quattle without Astrolabe is a lot harder to be good on turn two or three anyways. So it's more of a value card anyways. And this is this is the one card I'm just considering cutting from the deck. I just wanted to see like how the deck flowed and see uh, if that's something you want. But I could just see more removal, more lightning bolts uh, instead of that. More counter spells. Just yeah, three mans maybe. Yeah, that, I don't think they're great, but they're not the worst. Yeah. Also matches up rather poorly against both Lingering Souls, which you mentioned, and Season Pyromancer. Uh, yeah. I'm making a bunch of tokens. Exactly. And I'm just thinking of just the metagame. You know, they don't they don't seem insane right now, that's for sure. Yeah. When at times Quata was just unbelievable, you know. Yeah, you think like you know, the shadow decks are now mostly Rakdos, so they have Dart. Yep. Uh so it's not gonna be great there and I guess it's good against humans. That's, yeah. that's the the main matchup that's pretty popular. Mm -hmm. But yeah, overall, just not, not well positioned right now. Agreed, agreed. And I think just Lightning Bolt is pretty good against a lot of those matchups. And I'm only playing, I think, one. And uh, I I ended up cutting Quaddles for more Ren and Six, more Lightning Bolts, and uh, went that way after I played my league last night. Nice. Uh, I have a reasonable hand that I will be keeping. Yeah, I'll try it as well. It's a little awkward, but... Okay, I'll start by bobbling myself. Okay. And do I want that? Slightly awkward, but these. I do want to draw another land. Okay. I flood a Pyromancer to help out. That's so nice. I'm going to keep that on top and then play a Bloodstained Mire and okay. then play another Bobble, pass the turn, upkeep draw. Okay. I am going to take two, and I'm going to play Oath of Nyssa. You're at 18. Oath resolves. All right. Um, so I got a land and a combo piece. Now it's just which one do I want more? I think I, think I just want combo piece. So I'll take Felidar Guardian, and I'll pass to you. Okay. And step ball myself. Yep. And I like that card. Okay. So I'll keep it again. Draw an upkeep. Okay. Draw for turn. Sure. Draw on all the cards. Um. Okay. I'm gonna crack this for a godless shrine. Okay. So you Do I down. have a godless shrine? <laughs> <laughs> go to 17? Yeah, got a 17 okay. from Fetch Shock. I will thought seize you going to 15. Ah, oh, dang it. I thought you would have thought seize on turn one. So yeah, I'm gonna have it. I didn't, I didn't take the land because I had Ren, but Ren is a pretty juicy target here. Yeah, I will be taking said Ren. Okay, so you go to 15. Yeah, I'll play a tap blood crypt and then pass the turn. All right, let's hope these growth spirals are good to me. Oh, that is absolutely punishing. I will play a land and pass to you. Oops. Solid draw. Solid okay. draw. Play Black Leaf Cliffs, play Season Pyromancer. Okay, sure. I'll discard Croxa and Season Pyromancer. Okay. You got two me tokens. Two use. All Lucky right. Cards. I am going to for sure go to 19. I think I'm going to need a duel of some kind. So blue white. Sahili can be cast for free off oath. Um, so something to cast this guardian if I were to get it would make sense. So, so that would be white. blue green or white green. Or white red allows me to kind of cast White red everything. doesn't let you spiral. Oh, yeah, dude, touche. <laughs> <laughs> and it, it needs to be white and it needs to be either blue or green. Yep. Um, let's go with green to start. So you're going to 15. Uh, just 17, right? I don't think I've taken any other damage. Shock on Oh, yeah, yeah, right. Shock on turn two. All right, I'm done. I'm done. Just kidding. All right. So we got 15 all. 15 all. I'll grow a spiral. Yep. Who? No land. <laughs> Harsh. Harsh. Oh, God. 
Not like this. Not like this. Okay, um, past you. Oh, I like that. I don't like that. Uh, attack for four. I'll take it. 11. Two, 11. And I will play another Season Pyromancer. I'll leak that one. Pass the turn. All right. Untap, draw. Um. Okay, I'll play a Tarn. Now, what do I want to do? Got a decent card in hand. I'm at a pretty low life total, so I'm definitely gonna sack and not take an yeah. additional point. You're getting a basic, so you're at 10. Yeah, let's get this in case we get Omnath. And... I have exactly four power, so Sahili is not safe. Sahili is not safe, I concur. I'm gonna play Teferi. Yep. Just not sure what I want to do with it. So if I tick up, you, uh, you know, can't kill it. It's not insane or anything. Tick down to lower the clock is reasonable, but also not busted. I do think I just need to hit lands, but if I tick up and then draw a land and you attack it, then fell it our blanket, then bounce something is a pretty cool play. But I think I just need to hit land, so I'm gonna bounce one of you and pass to you. Okay, one at Teferi, two at you. Okay. Brings you to eight. Eight, yep. Um. Man, I got so punished for not taking land uh, when I thought I was gonna play run in six. That happens. Hmm, there's no way I can threaten lethal next turn. Okay. I will cast Magmatic Channeler. Okay. Pass the turn. So that is uh, seven. Uh, it's only one three right now. I only have one spell. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. All right, well. <clears throat> hmm. We have to just kind of do the same thing we did here. I once again need a land. Shocking. Uh, how many more cards do you need in your graveyard? I need three instants of sorceries. Oh, gotcha. I need okay. four total. Okay, so yeah, you're pretty far away from that, but you can still just use the ability, which is pretty sweet. Um, let's go with a Teferi. And we're gonna bounce. Let's bounce another Ross Merriam here. Dang it. <laughs> Go. <laughs> okay. Dang it. It's not a bad draw. Hmm. Mm, yes. I will discard a Colgan's Command. Okay. Isn't Lyra supposed to be your companion? Oh, no, you have Season Pyromancer, so that's right. <laughs> there are just a couple Lyrises in the main. Okay. So still can't get comboed, so I'll definitely choose the Lyris here. Okay. A bobble to go along with it. Okay, okay. Play bobble, attack to fairy. Okay. All right. And bobble you. It better be a land. It is not. Oh. <laughs> draw on your upkeep, though. Okay. Ugh. Just the worst. You don't want mana leak? <laughs> I do not. Um, so now it comes to the question of do I have the luxury of not just going grow spiral into this removal spell or if I just have to cast it? Um, I think I'm so far behind I almost just have to get horrifically lucky and top deck some kind of untapped land that can cast it, but then I just immediately lose if I don't do that. Um, but you're just getting so close to 
absolutely destroying me. I think I got to get lucky here. I'm at eight, right? Uh, yes. Okay. Well, this is unfortunate, but we are going to grow spiral. Need an untapped land. Wah, wah. <laughs> You're not dead yet. Yeah. Yeah. This is six power. Yeah, that just doesn't facilitate anything I can do, so I'll pass to you. Okay. That is a nice one. Um, play Bobble. Okay. Did you draw off your Bobble last time? Um, I think so. I think I drew this. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, thoughts ease you. Okay. Yeah, I can't. I can't win. We'll yeah. save time so we can play one more game. Sure. I am dead. Yeah, if I got an untapped land there, I was gonna be able to purge Luris, and then I had Omnath. So the some world where I top deck purge your Luris, and then draw just another land and can go Omnath fetch land into you know the world. Something, yeah. That uh, that seemed like my only out there, but I could have just purged and maybe just maybe that's. Uh, enough of a line where I'd live there, but really where the game was over was once you thought he's Ren and I didn't get that land off Oath, uh, just well, thinking I was set for mana. And then I and then I topped a cat to be even worse. So I had a second cat. I was like, come on. If, if you had hit the lane earlier, I think you would have been fine because I was stuck on three for a bit, yeah. which was awkward. And I had two pushes yeah. in my hand as my defense against the combo, but no fetch land to turn on, on revolt. Yep. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think it was yeah, just, just playing greedy. It was just playing greedy where I don't have to risk it there. And then if you have a thought is I'm now pressured to draw land every turn or I am in a lot of trouble. So yeah. it was just a mistake. So one of those scenarios where you get, you're really tempted because you know I didn't have the thoughts he's on turn one because I didn't yeah. play it, mm -hmm. uh, and I ended up drawing it, you know, off the bauble. Yeah, and that's the only reason why I did it. So I was like, you would have thought sees me already, and I top decked the Ren, uh, so you wouldn't have been able to see it if you thought sees me. So it just worked out absolutely perfectly. Okay, that's, that's I like it. Last game, I will be on the play. Oh, nice. And I have a pretty uh, nice hand. I'll keep. Don't like that. <laughs> uh, I will also keep. Okay, what do I want to start with? I'm gonna go with 18 and Oath. Yep. Take a peek. Uh, that's awkward. So I got got choices. I don't know what I particularly wanted. Um, yeah, I guess we'll take Teferi though. Pass to you. I will cast Inquisition of Kozlak. All right. I got some stuff. Once again, Oath tried to hit a land. <laughs> this time, I did not. But we're doing all right. Yeah, definitely doing all right. Um, so the choice here is really between the Sahili and the Mana Leak. Okay. Yeah, so Healy even good with Quaddle just to uh, generate extra cards. The Mana League. Mana League's actually pretty good against you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but I just, my hand is pretty weak to the combo. I've just got to take the Sahili. Okay, so you are at 18. Oh, no, never mind. Inquisition. Pass the turn. All right. Um, I could just give you info here. I don't think that's a big deal. So I'll take two and pass to you. So you're at 16. Yep. Fetch for a swamp and play Croxa. Okay, so you go to 19. I'm gonna respond with a Quaddle. Draw. And what do we want to discard? I'll take three. So 13. I'm at 19, you're at 13, and I'll pass the turn. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hate to keep giving you this free info, but it keeps making sense. So I'm gonna growth this land. Yep. I'll attack. I got 18. Your go. Uh, 
Uh, I'll go to 16 for a Goblet Shrine and cast Lingering Souls. Lingering Souls, eh? That one on mana like. Okay, pass the turn. All right, got that out of the way. Now I'll attack. 15. Now let's play Teferi. Yep. Tick up, play a land and pass to you. You know nothing from my hand anymore. You know nothing! Oh, uh, how about we see it? Thoughts easy. How about not? <laughs> how about not, Mr. Merriam? How about not? Uh, I'm just gonna get a forest here to avoid taking damage. Welcome to Vale. Okay, I believe I have another forest on top of the deck, of course. So I go to 12. Yep, and I'm still at 15. I'm gonna go to 12 to crack a Marsh Flats okay. and get another Blood Crypt, or a draw, Blood Crypt. Draw from Vale. Yep. I'm gonna play Liliana, and now I cannot Edict Cory. He is uh, oh, yeah. pro black, so I'll plus. Hmm. Thank you. <laughs> 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 You're a good buddy today. <laughs> you can go. <laughs> All right. Untap. Ooh, that's an interesting one. Um, All right. I think it's worth it for the upside here. I'm going to bounce Oath. Yep. Draw. Um, do I just try to hit a land? No, it's not that valuable anymore. Uh, yeah, let's just bring back Uro. So now we'll be at 15 all. 15 all, draw, hit a land. Um, do I want to replay Oath? I don't think I necessarily care. And we'll attack Liliana and pass to you. And I got that Quaddle as a little buffer here. Not that that's that hard. You just have any removal and you'll be able to kill it. But I don't. Okay. So I will start by Edicting you. So Corey has another Veil. Okay. It doesn't draw a card at least. Yeah, I'll just let that happen. Um, and then I will play Croxa. Croxa. Okay. I will discard... I'll discard the oath, I think. Yeah. Hey, pass the turn. All right. Oh, and tap. You're dead. You said land combo? Nope, but okay, you're not actually dead, but this is going to be insane. Um, Omnath? Yep. A draw. Um, I will play land. Gain four. 19. Sack this. 18. I'll just get a, oh, I can start getting duels now. I got extra life. I'm living. We uh, fell out our guardian, blink to fairy, bounce my Croxa. No, I don't have, uh, it's not even that insane, but it, it's good enough. All right, so I'll do this. Shock. So I will get uh, four mana. Yep. I will replay to fairy. So I have one green floating, we'll say, and then bounce this. Draw um, with the green and the red, Ren and six. I will oh, be sick. activating Omnath for a long time. I'll return this. Even if I had flashback Lingering Souls, Corey <laughs> would have been able to bounce one token and ping the other. Yeah, yeah. And then I will attack Lily. Draw. Brings you to 19. Put a land in, take four. I go to 11. And I will play. No, I don't have another line drop. Okay, pass to you. Tra la 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 la. Tra la 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 la. Yeah, this deck just doesn't have to combo now. Like, I, I, I killed more people last night with just this, you know? And that's the thing I love that the combo is almost the back burner now when it always used to be the forefront. Uh, Croxy, you. Croxa, me. I'll take three. You go to 16. Yep. Actually, maybe I shouldn't do that. Eh, whatever. Uh, crack these two fetches. I'll okay. go to nine. Okay. Get Plains Mountain. 
Um, yeah, that still works. Okay. I will dread bore the Uro. Should have done that one first. Dread bore Uro. Okay. And then flashback lingering souls. Okay. Pass the turn. End step. I'll take one, but gain four. So you're 22. Yep. And I'm at nine. No big deal. And let's get a triome. All right. Oops. I cast Croxa three times and two discard spells, and Corey still has like five cards. Yeah, and I'm about to have it just at an absolutely insane turn. This is going to be fun. Okay. On tap. A draw. I will tick this up. I will attack. Um, and I believe I have to block. Okay. If I don't block, I'm going to go to five, and Uro fetch land land will kill me with a Ren mm -hmm. ping. So, jump. Okie dokie. So I'll gain four. 26. And I will crack. 25. Uh, do, 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 do. Add four mana. And so, five, one, two, three, so I have four mana to work with. How convenient. Okay, so with the four, so I have two mana floating. Okay, two mana floating, escape Red, white arrow. specifically. Yep, that's fine. Brings you to 28. Yep. Draw, take four. I go to five. Okay, and then the rest of the mana, escape and play Yorian, blink out mm. yep. these, these come back, uh, trigger, draw a card, and pass to you. Do you use the rent at all? Nope. <laughs> sure didn't. <laughs> oh. I didn't. I, I was going through when I was sideboarding. I thought there was only one bolt. Guess I should have brought out two bolts. Bring in but. whatever else you were going to bring in. That's yeah, fine. If, if this was unearth, it wouldn't have done anything anyway. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I will uh, lightning bolt. Uh, oh, so four, 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 <laughs> six, five. <laughs> five permanents. And I'm at 20 or and you're so. At, and you're at 28. Yeah. Huh. Well, I'll bolt you. Okay. Uh, I'll take I guess it. I'll, I'll bolt the Teferi. Okay. And then I'll, then I'll play Croxa. Okay. I'll discard Teferi. And then I'll pass the turn. Okay. Untap. A draw. I'm going to sack this. I'm going to gain four. So 31. No, oh, but no, yeah, we'll take two. Why not? 29. Okay. And then I will tick this up, re replay it, add four. I will play Sahili. I will. Uh, Copy Yorian, then uh, I will keep this original. Triggers, I'll blink these away. Yeah, I probably could do this better. Could yeah, this just is, killed me. Yeah, yeah, that's probably better. Um, yeah, we'll copy. Yes. This, this game is over. Yeah, it's I'm, over. I'm, but it's so fun to do the exact technical most busted thing you can do, because then at the end of the turn, you just sit back and you're like, nice. Oh, nice. What do you think of the deck? I mean, it's clearly <laughs> an excellent mid-range deck, right? Yeah. And that's yeah. the power of it, is you're mm -hmm. an excellent mid-range deck that happens to have the combo, but, yeah. and I had to respect that. And yeah. you know, Normally, you think of, of, like, you know, Lingering Souls as being a mid-range game-breaker, but it's yeah. a card that you can largely ignore. Mm -hmm. You even have Ren and Six now to clean it up, so. Big mana seems like the thing that I'd have to focus more on, and I have some of the silent uh, LD spell, plus Field of Ruins and stuff, so I, I, I think that's decent, and just three forces, bunch yeah. of mana leaks. It seems, and seems decent. And a turn four combo. <laughs> what? And a turn four combo. And a turn four combo, yeah. I think this deck is nice, and it's not, it's still click heavy when you're going through the specific combo, uh, but I even learned some ways to uh, master that as well, so I'm gonna I'm gonna do some streaming with it later this weekend. It's yeah. gonna be fun, so. We saw a little bit of Magmatic Channeler there look, look fine. Yeah, uh, it, was, it was fine. You know, it was not overly impressive, but it, was, it looked solid. Yeah, it's solid. Uh, uh, the fact that you still have to pay mana to cast the spell, right? Yeah. That's the thing where, I mean, that may just lead to degenerate 
busted things. But I feel like when you have to have a creature in 2020 survive to do something, it has to do something like you could cast Emrakul off it for free, you know? <laughs> yeah. Otherwise, uh, something it, utterly busted. Exactly. So looks like you got some marbles to give to me. We got some subs to thank, and we're going to be out of here. And unless you got any questions there, Rob, we can answer those as well. Uh, we did have one question about what you just thought the flex slots were in your copycat list and, and how much of it you thought was just essential to the core of the deck outside of just the combo and Omnas or whatever. Um, yeah, so I think the, the flex is Quaddles. Um, I think, you know, Omnath, Uro, Combo, Gross Spiral, um, Path, I think those are sacred. Um, and Renin 6 I thought was pretty iffy, but I actually went up to 3 because I think that's great. So basically just Quaddle. And uh, I already cut them for Renin 6 and more Lightning Bolts uh, in the list I was trying at home. But, of course, I submitted Versus before that. But, yeah, those would be the flex slots that I'm considering, as well as Force and Negation and Mana Leak, kind of. But you need some kind of permission in those slots. It's just which ones are best. So while they're the flex slots, they have to serve that role. In my opinion, um, but I'm gonna be messing around with it all weekend, and uh, I think it's gonna be fun. We'll we'll see how many times we time out. Yeah. Have you, <laughs> have you considered playing um, Utopia Sprawl instead of Girl Spiral? Can enable turn three kills, just cast your planeswalkers. Just because it's faster. Yeah. Kind of thing. Yeah. Just being able to curve one to three seems pretty valuable. Just, Obviously, Girl Spiral synergizes with Omnath. Yeah. Um, so you know, it's there's a give and take, but. And if I just turn into more of a control deck with like veils and more counter spell post board, I like to have the growth spiral interaction, but instead of abundant growth maybe, but I feel like that is pretty important for the Yorian blinking, but not so much, not so much. So Yeah, yeah. you're not like a ded super dedicated Yorian deck. Yeah, exactly. But uh, yeah, I suppose that's it for questions. Let's thank some subs, we'll thank some sponsors, and we'll get out of here. All right, Chainer47, subscribe for three months. Heptagon gave out seven subs today. Heptagon. <laughs> uh, Brandon du or yeah, Brian Douglas uh, just subscribed, and Squirtle Storm also subscribed. So thank you to all of our subs. Awesome. Thank you for all of that support. And if you would like to support Star City Games in another way, you can join Premium, where $7.99 a month will give you exclusive access to some great content, as well as 5% off of sealed product, 10% off of singles, and 15% off of supplies. So head on over to StarCityGames.com slash join dash premium and sign up today. You might as well. And if you want to be comfy while you're reading at all this new sweet content you got, go ahead and pick up a Carnox Gaming chair, you can go to carnox.com slash scg. Use that affiliate link to get yourself 10% off one of these awesome gaming chairs. Now, last but not least, we are also sponsored by Coalesce Apparel. If you enjoy the shirts that we wear, you can find their entire collection at coalesceapparel.shop and be sure, be sure to use the gift code scg to get 10% off of your purchase there as well. If keeping it 100 is drawing vials on the last two turns of the game, you kept it 100 today. 100% of the vials. 100% <laughs> vial draw for you, if you will. So, all right, everyone. I want to thank you so much for uh, watching this shift that we did with Zendikar Rising to Modern here. Uh, I know I had a lot of fun. If standard's not your thing, trust me, come to the dark side of Modern. Modern is still great. Whatever kind of deck you like, there's some good things to do, and I hope we demonstrated that uh, with the 12 decks we've selected. So, um, we will be back Tuesday. Not sure what we're going to do, but we got some fun stuff, uh, you know, in Perk the back of the tank. Percolating. Exactly. So we'll figure it out then. So that's going to do it. We will be back Tuesday at 1 p.m. Eastern time. So for Corey, Ross, and Rob, see you then.